What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today we are not really going to necessarily talk about um, this Maverick, but we are going to talk about what this Maverick did for me today. And um, I shot my first NRL 22 match today, and I'm going to tell you, it was awesome. I am hooked. Holy cow, what a load of fun. If you love air guns and you want to really challenge yourself, check out nrl22.org and look for a club in your area that offers it. It is a load of fun. It was also a huge wake up call because it's not just shooting bench rest. It's not like different um, distance targets at a bench. It's in all kinds of different positions, prone and kneeling and sitting and standing and um, just different positions than what you would normally shoot. But it really does test your ability and your gun. Um, one thing that I did was um, I tried to learn all my holdovers for you know certain distances. Um, so that I didn't have to dial my scope and we actually even had one um, um, Stage today where we couldn't dial so we had to rely on holdover So I tried to just learn my holdovers zero my gun learn the holdovers shoot your targets um, There is a lot going on um, During the stages they're mostly two-minute stages uh, they're generally 10 shots, but they're different positions and different targets. So, you know, parallax, things like that, you know, kind of plays into it. But it's funny how when you get up there, all of those ideals of, all right, I'm going to adjust my parallax, go flying right out the window as you're in a hurry to shoot your 10 shots in two minutes doesn't sound weird but when you go from being prone to kneeling to sitting to back to kneeling to hunched over to just different positions it's really interesting <laughs> the AccuTac absolutely performed perfect the Arcan optic flawless perfect the zero DB moderator did its job along with all the Crawford and Lipped accessories that make up this beautiful FX Maverick sniper in 22 caliber. The Sekmet gauge worked its magic in the way it should. The Ergo grip was amazing to shoot with. It's so comfortable in the hand. It did such an amazing job. And I'm gonna tell you, having a good grip does make a difference in your shooting. Um, the Crawford and Lipped KLS-2 fit my shoulder perfectly. The gun performed great. And in most important faction, the Zon slugs traveled great. I let the gun down today though. I didn't score very high and I'm okay with that. You know, it, to me, it's not about boasting and bragging it's about the fun and the memories that you gain from you know meeting new friends and getting to see what other people shoot you know especially some of these open class uh 22 caliber uh, um, rifles um but the air guns performed to their abilities by the person behind the trigger. <laughs> so, am I capable of shooting better? Yes, am, is this gun capable of shooting better? Absolutely. Did I bumble the ball? Yes, and it was more just that um, it was a lot to take in. It's, it's um, it, you know, I, I think that next month I'll do a much better job at, um, you know, being more calm and, 
you know, last night I was going over the course of fire and man, I was just, I was running through the checklist in my head. Like, dude, don't forget Allen wrenches. Like you always do when you go to the range, dude, don't forget this, dude, don't forget that. Uh, don't forget to take pictures. And I was up until like two 30 in the morning and my alarm went off at 6 AM. I had an hour drive out to the shoot. So a little bit of fatigue. I'm not trying to blame it. I'm just saying that the pre jitters kind of got to me on this one. I was really excited about getting out there and shooting it. And, um, you know, now that I've done that and, you know, and I'm, I'm in this, um, position, I'm feeling much, much better. Um, this big throw lever, um, from Arkin was awesome to have. Um, it was really nice when I was acquiring targets and then needed to zoom in just a little bit. It was really great just to grab this. Uh, when it's straight up and down, it's at 16 magnification. Um, so, you know, I can push it around just a little bit to, to bring it um, right to where I need it. Um, you know, like I said, the scope was awesome. Um, the gun itself performed very, very well. Um, you know, a lot of the targets that I missed um, was just due to um, a little bit of windage issues that I was having, um, where I thought I was missing to the left, and it turns out I was actually missing to the right. Um, you know, it's a part of getting older, you know, my vision isn't as good as it used to be. So, you know, there was that. And, uh, you know, once again, I'm not making excuses. I'm just telling you guys how my day went. And, um, but NRL 22, man, I'm going to tell you guys, hands down, the funnest thing I've ever done with an air rifle. And, um, you know, honestly, I think all you guys out there, uh, should really take a good look at the NRL, um, 22.org website, see if you can find a club close by. And, uh, you know, you, you don't have to spend this kind of money to, um, you know, shoot NRL. Um, you know, um, Jeff Blue Phoenix, um, he borrowed my 22 caliber um, Avenger. And you can shoot uh, 22 caliber and 25 caliber with either pellets or slugs. Uh, and I believe, and I'm almost positive, you can shoot 30 caliber with just pellets. Um, so, you know, it, it opens a lot of doors for a lot of you with those different guns. Uh, and then it depends upon your club if you shoot 100 yards or less or if they go up to 200 yards. The club that I shoot with um, is up to 200 yards. So today we had a 200 or 153 um, yard target. I believe it was 153. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, you know, you definitely want to be able to have a gun that um, is capable of, you know, of pushing relatively accurately. Uh, I think it was a six inch plate. So, you know, you're shooting at a five or six inch plate at that distance. It's relatively, you know, I mean, that's what, four MOA. So, you know, you, it's it's not totally out of the, the ballpark of what you can and can't do. Um, but uh, definitely awesome. And, um, you know, I'd love to see the, uh, the NRL 22 grow with air guns. Um, you know, it's just, it, it was so much fun, you guys. It really, truly was like one of the best things um, that I've ever done with an air gun. And um, I'm totally looking forward to uh, going back out there next month and uh, shooting again and, um, you know, getting to know those guys better and just having a great time. So uh, with that being said, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. Please go check out nrl22.org. They do allow air guns and get out there and have a great, great time. It is so much fun. There's videos on YouTube. Um, I may even start doing a few videos just on my journey along the way. Some of the things that I've picked up uh, to utilize. Um, you guys see the platform that I'm using. Like I said, it, it functioned perfectly. It was more me and just my nerves and just not, not understanding as much as how I should have been in position. Um, so I shot in a lot of really weird positions um, that I just wasn't. I should have been in different positions. So let's just say that. So, but anyway, 
be good to each other, you guys, and uh, God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you next time here on Air Guns Michigan. Take care.